Welcome again my friends. <laughs> this is the sixth video of GSPN Sublet Beginner to Advanced Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you about GSP include directive tags that I forget to show you in the last video. So in this video, I am going to cover GSP include tag. Before starting this video, if you are new in my channel, so please subscribe my channel and turn on notification to get notification next when I upload new video. Okay, let's uh, take a look at uh, uh, JSP include directive tag. Actually, what is it? The include directive tags tells the web container to copy everything from the included file and paste it into the current JSP pairs. So for that, uh, the syntax is Ingle percent at include file equal and the file name and then percent angle the closing tag. So let's uh, give me give you a demonstration just like that. Uh, you have a uh, JSP page, it's like you have in your project we have one index page. Oh, sorry for this uh, drawing. So you have uh, index.jsp page and there you have a header file. And every JSP page, we, we need a header file and we need a footer file. All right. So just like in your project, if you have 20 JSP pages, in, in your project, if you have 20 JSP pages, that means you have to write this uh, header code and footer code again and again. I mean the 20 times. But uh, using the JSP include tag, we can minimize this one. For that, what we have to do, we will create two new GSP pairs. Okay, this is one GSP pairs for header and this is another GSP pairs for footer. So here, this GSP header page only include the header and this GSP footer page only include the footer file. And that means uh, this, uh, let's uh, write it's a header. header and this one is footer. Uh, uh, that means we will design this header JSP page only for header and this footer JSP page only for footer. We can uh, write the code by static and by dynamic. It's okay, no problem. And then what we will do, we will include this, we will include this header file to this index.jsp JSP page in header option and this footer.jsp page to here. So for that we have to write uh, that code the uh, percent at uh, include include then file and then the file name and that's all. So that's the that's the code will help us to include this header and footer page to our JSP page. Okay, let's uh, take a live example in our uh, project. So let's open my NetBeans ID. And here you can see this is our index.jsp page. And here we have to include our header file here. So for that, uh, just uh, expand your web pages and create a new JSP page. Uh, let's uh, name it header.jsp page header and then click on finish so actually this jsp page will help us uh, uh, let's uh, rename it header.jsp page so this jsp page will help us to uh, help us for uh, navigation so let's save it and uh, we will include this file in our index.jsp page so just like uh, say here per sentence angle percent at include file include file the file name is header dot jsp and then percent so what it will do, it will uh, copy everything from the header.jsp page and paste it in the index.jsp page. 
So let me run this project. It will take few moments because this is the first time I am opening my server, starting my server. Uh, okay, our uh, GSP page uh, has been project has been run, and you can see that it's a uh, paste all our all our code from the uh, header.jsp page. Okay, let's uh, do a little design here in header.jsp page. So let's cut it here, and I'm doing little copy paste. I already created a simple um, uh, navigation file here. So I'm copying the code here and paste it here and the CSS style style.css I'm pasting this style here. I don't think say this is a this will look good but it's ugly design so let's open and refresh your project and you can see that this is our header file and in every page this will let's um, sorry here's our header dot and the header dot page is not available here this is the check of the link header dot Either dot system so this is our header dot jsp page and there is our header design and we included this header file in our index page we included the header file in our index page just uh, you can uh, go to the inspect element and you can see that in our body tag, this is our style tag. In our JSP page, we don't have any style here. In our JSP page, we don't have any style. We just included the file. Then what does it done? It's a copy the all element. It's copy all the all element from the header.jsp page. And here is the CSS style. And here is the div element in the body tag. So this is the logo menu. And in the body tag, it's a copy all the element and it's copied in it's a copied the element in your body tag not in your in your header tag in not in head option it's copied everything in your body element the second the, the metadata the style and everything jsp header page you can see that jsp header page so just like go to our header.jsp page and uh, cut everything from here okay. and then paste it and refresh your project and you can see that we have only the style and the div element you got it so that's how we can use them uh, that's how we can use the jsp include tag we can also include the footer as the same way then we can write down our code here. So it's like, hello. And uh, just to refresh it. And you can see this is our uh, new, new deep element in the JSP. For that uh, also we can uh, do as like um, uh, the JSP util tag. It's like in a JSP folder, in a JSP page, we can import all our Java required file and then we can we just include that file in our JSP element. So that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends 
and don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on notification so i will see you in next video in next video we will discuss about gsp implicit objects so thanks for watching